What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Binghamton versus Vermont college basketball matchup going down Thursday, January 18th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between Binghamton and Vermont. And uh, Binghamton coming into this game with a record of 8 and 7 on the year off of back to back losses following a 95 75 loss at the hands of Albany on the road in their last matchup, while Vermont coming in 13 and 5 on the year. Winners of four in a row, 3 uh, 0 in conference play after a 76 55 win over NJIT in, this la- in their last matchup. And, you know, Vermont has been the class of the America East for the better part of the last, I don't want to say decade, but just that's what it feels like. I mean, this is. Ever since, you know, John Becker really took over, I mean, Vermont has been a team that you perennially see in the NCAA tournament. You go back to 2017, uh, this Vermont team has five separate NCAA tournament appearances, only missing the tournament twice. Like I said, they've just been the most dominant team for the most part in the America East year after year. And uh, it looks to be more of the same in this uh, this season right now, sitting third excuse me, sitting second um, in both offensive and defensive efficiency. And they're doing a great job winning games with margin, especially against NJIT. They did that um, despite playing at such a slow pace, you know, ninth in average possession length on offense and defense. But they're also first in effective field goal percentage on offense, first in turnover percentage on on offense, not turning the ball over, and top three in three-point shooting, two-point shooting, and free throw shooting in conference play as well. Um on defense, they're not giving up a whole lot. The one area where you can attack this Vermont uh, defense in conference play is from behind the arc. So, you know, that's going to be one of the keys here for Binghamton. Can they, you know, sort of reverse their fortunes? The problem is, is that Vermont, the one area where they really struggle to shoot the ball in conference play is three-point range. They're shooting just 21.4% from behind the arc in uh, in conference play, putting them ninth. This line looks a little bit light to me. Maybe I'll have to update it if it starts to really move or if maybe it's just off from the open. Uh, but for me, regardless of what it goes up to, I got to go with Vermont here. They flat out owned Binghamton in the last few years. Um, last year, they won the the, uh, the meeting in the conference tournament by, by 22 points. Won at home at Vermont by 11. It was the first time Binghamton had covered in this head-to-head matchup in a long time. And uh, the meet, the meeting in Binghamton went to Vermont's way by 25 points. So part of me thinks that this line might be off. I'm not going to lie. I think it could it could potentially move. Uh, but whatever it moves to, it's still going to be Vermont for me here. So give me Vermont laying the points, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Why are your Pick Dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.